According to a report from Screen Daily, Marvel is now setting up plans to have the cast for the upcoming Doctor Strange movie fully in play by the end of 2014 or early 2015, with shooting to begin in May of 2015. The site also claims that Marvel will use the July 8, 2016 date they announced that they were holding for the Sorcerer Supreme. John, if Marvel doesn't start shooting until May of 2015, is July 2016 too soon for a release date? No, the reality is the production timeline on this movie is probably going to be like three months anyway. Anyway, so and, and you already you know they're working on the film now. Like all the previs stuff, they're doing a lot of work as we speak for so yeah. this is all coming. What this does tell me though is that and, and let's remember this is speculation. I, I've read some websites this morning that are irresponsibly running that it's been confirmed. Marvel is doing that July 8th, 2016 as the no it hasn't. This is all coming from one report from one site, and it very well could be true. Marvel did reserve that date mm -hmm. quite some time ago. We know it's for something. It very well could be. Um, the Sorcerer Supreme, but remember, it's not confirmed yet. That could be something else. But if it is, I think it fits into the timeline, and it does kind of tell me that pr I'm going to guess three weeks, three weeks from now, somewhere between now and three weeks, we will find out officially who is going to be uh, him. Whether it's going to be uh, Yaquin Phoenix, whether it's going to be Ray Rice, who knows? But it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be somebody. We're going to find out soon. Anyway, Christian. I'd probably go with Phoenix uh, over Rice. <laughs> probably yeah. yes. Uh, I think that it will be in three weeks, and I think it'll probably land around the New York Comic Con. Timeline. Completely agree. Um, and I think that if the July date is uh, confirmed, that's where it is. No, it's not too soon because Kevin Feige, as we know, is doing a pretty good job so far. He's all right. <laughs> He's all right. He's all right. He's I'll been, give him a one year extension. And what he does so brilliantly is that he teases the properties that are coming out through little interviews here and there. He's talked about uh, Strange for, a, lot, for a, a while. They've been working on this thing. It's always been in the plan to get it out. They have a timeline. They know what they're going to do with it. They mentioned Stephen Strange in Captain America, too. It, it's, uh, it, we're, we're, we're OK. <laughs> Mark. Yeah, and it also tells me that the setbacks that happened with Ant-Man don't phase them at all. That they yeah. maybe they saw what happened with Ant-Man, they're like, okay, let's try not to let this happen again. But even with Ant-Man going forward, if they can get that, if they can pull that off this coming summer, they're going to be fine with Doctor Strange. And yeah. plus, like you said, they're already in pre-production with this. So they're getting their ducks in a row ahead of time. It's like when you were a kid, you read all your summer reading in July, so you don't have to worry about all that other stuff like late August. This is makes total sense to me. You know, I'm glad you brought up Ant-Man too, because let's say we all know all the drama that's going on, gone on with Ant-Man. Probably the most drama we've had since the real Marvel age has started in, in the film world. If they do what they did with Guardians of the Galaxy, I mean, if they just crush Ant-Man and make it amazing, and everybody loves it the way they love Guardians of the Galaxy, what would Marvel have to do to lose confidence? Like, at what point then, if that happens, what would have to phase us? Like, if they, they lose Edgar Wright, all that stuff's going on, they, like, and they still make a great movie. Do we ever doubt Marvel again? I love that, that you, I love you even have to ask that question. Yeah. <laughs> and that Chris and I are both like, I don't know what well, they would do. But I mean, I think that it's, we have to also remember that we're, this is a fickle business. That, it is, it's a fickle business. So if they, if they put out a movie that is horrendous, like horrendous, people are going to go, whoa, that last one was a stinker. And then, I mean, look, look at Pixar. Pixar hit, 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 had a couple of ones that just didn't hit great, even Cars 2 or whatever it was. And yeah, like, Brave, yeah. Yeah, and then you're like, eh, but you still trust in them? But they yeah. could, right now, it's, Marvel's just on a hot streak. So yeah. eventually, if they have a couple stinkers, the audience could go, well, I don't know, what, get us back on track here. That just isn't happening. I almost want them to have a stinker. They're like a pitcher throwing a perfect game right now, and I don't want to talk to them when they're in the dugout. It's like, just keep doing your thing. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.